Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at Defragler, a system defragmentation utility. This one comes to us from the guys who bring you CCleaner, a very popular, excellent freeware drive cleaning utility. And it's actually becoming one of my favorite defragmentation tools. You have at least a half a dozen or more choices of very good alternative defrag utilities. And you want to get something in there a little better than the one that comes with Microsoft, which is very basic, simply because, as we all know, the hard drive has more moving parts than anything in the computer and is the most likely thing to fail. So a little bit of preventative maintenance is handy. Cleaning your drive and defragmenting it every here and there is well worth the effort, and when it's free, even better. The latest version of Defrag, where at the time I did this video, has actually added in benchmarking as well, which is a neat little feature because you can sit down see how your computer is running as far as the speed, the drive speed, and then you could defragment, clean your drive, come back in, see if you've improved it any, or at least make sure you're getting optimal speed from your drive. Again, the other thing about drives is they're also one of the biggest bottlenecks in your computer. You can get all the RAM you want, all the processor you want, tweak it all you want, and the, you're eventually your hard drive is going to slow down just how fast your computer can actually go. Um, if you took a look down here towards the middle with the tabs, as you can see, I've already benchmarked it once. You can simply click benchmark at any time and it gives you a file list. It gives you a search. It gives you a drive map which you can edit the colors on. And it gives you a drive health which is another nice little feature because it's a drive monitoring utility telling you the health of your drive, your temperature, the brand, the speed, etc. how long it's been powered on. Very nice little options again because it takes it beyond just a basic defragmentation utility and really makes it a nice little all-in-one drive maintaining utility. Um, basically, you can come up here at any point, click your drive, or I like to use shift click with the arrows to select both of my drives, and you can simply analyze or defrag or quick defrag. Uh, quick defrag, I've had it run in just a few minutes. A full defrag could take you quite a bit longer, as much as 10 times longer. Uh, but that said, you could also spend a little bit of time up in your settings with your options. Uh, there's not a lot in here you want to play with, check for updates. It asks you for that on install, moving large files, uh, any kind of custom rules if you want to get nerdy with it. For the most part, I think you'll find Defragler is ready to roll out of the box after you answer a couple of questions on the install. This is one of the questions replacing the Windows Disk Defragmenter. We get that option on the startup. You might, you're going to want to go ahead and check that so that this becomes your default defragmentation tool. The schedule you want to spend a little time with before we get to that real quick. You have your boot time defrag, which you can do, which means your computer will reboot and defrag on the way back up. Your priority normal is fine or background and shut down after defrag options. In the schedule, it's very simple. Schedule your defragmentation. Please do this. You're going to want to do it possibly weekly, or you can actually come over here and tell it every two weeks, every three weeks. For most people, I really like every two weeks. If you use your computer more, every week is good. I, as I said, with the hard drives moving parts, I, I understand it's a maintenance thing, but it just makes me nervous. And I see people running it every start or, or running it every single day. I just think it's overkill. So for me personally, weekly would be good. You can hit your shutdown when it does it as well. So this is kind of nice. You could actually configure it to run at 11 o'clock at night, let's say, you know you're going to go to bed at 11 o'clock, you can leave it to run, shut it down, go to bed, let it do a full defragment, and you turn your computer on in the morning and you're off to the races. You can apply some additional options with a condition. For example, I've dropped this to three hours. With your defragmentation, if the program was to crash, there would be a big problem. You don't want the thing sitting here stuck running for 20 hours while you're gone. Um, start if the computer is idle. I kind of like that as well. Uh, the less things running on your computer when you defragment, the better it's going to do for you, as well as a couple of power options. And basically, I think we've walked through most of it. There's your standard help, um, you know, your, your quick links to, to do it to defragment single folders or single files. Um, and of course, I almost forgot about that one. Don't forget about checking your drive for errors. You had another utility built in there that's handy. Um, uh, what else can I say about it? It's really become one of my favorite uh, defragmentation utilities. I think you should at least give it a shot. I think you'll agree, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.